Hey guys, it's Alex C with TFP TV, and today's run and gun is going to be with a Scorpion Evo SBR. We've never actually done this with a modern gun, so we're not quite sure how this is going to go, but we did get this SBR'd. We got the U922R compliance kit with the disconnector, the trigger, we got the magazine floor plate and follower, the US made grip, flash hider, and I think there's something else, but most importantly, we got the lovely folding stock. Folding stock makes this gun a lot more shootable. In pistol form, it's just an awkward, giant pistol thing. I probably wouldn't buy one of these without the possibility of SBRing it. But the stock is retained on the serial number plate with a pretty crafty little magnet placed in the toe of the stock, which is nice. Uh, the controls of the Evo are also great. You've got your HK style charging handle up at the front of the top, sorry, top front of the receiver. You've got a actual bolt catch, unlike an MP5. And then the way that you remove the magazine is inside the trigger guard, so very ergonomic. So since we've never done this with a modern gun before, we decided that we'd do three magazines with 10 rounds each, allowing for two magazine changes, 25 rounds on steel with the last five shots on paper for safety reasons. Here we go. All right, guys, first time doing this with a modern gun, but we finally got the Scorpion Evo out to the range. It's raining, but we don't really care about that. So here we go. All right, let's go down range and check that out. All right, guys, it looks like we got 23 pings on the steel out of uh, 25. Not bad, I will have to adjust the sights over a little bit, but not a big deal. This is actually uh, strange. I'm a little rusty with modern firearms that are semi-automatic. I know that sounds strange, but this really isn't what I shoot that often. So let's move over to the paper. We took the last five on the paper and got all five. So. This is actually a really fun, accurate little pistol caliber carbine. It's a little bland, but it does what you need it to do. So all in all, the Evo performed pretty good. You'll get a lot of people saying it's an MP5 killer. I don't know why they say this. It's a bog standard blowback, close bolt, pistol caliber carbine, whereas the MP5 is roller delayed blowback and truly a Cadillac. It's more accurate to compare this with maybe something like an HK UMP. But even when you do that and you actually put a UMP and an Evo on the scale, the Evo comes in at five pounds, almost 12 ounces. Whereas a UMP in 45, a bigger caliber, comes in at five pounds, 8.8 .8 ounces. So even the UMP in 45 is lighter, making the Evo uh, a little chunky. However, the Evo does have some great features. It's got really nice sights with four apertures that you can switch to really easily with your thumb from a giant aperture up to a really small aperture that we used for this test. Um, so all in all, the Evo performed well. I'd like to do this with the UMP and see how it goes. We haven't done this with too many modern guns, like I said, so we'd really like to keep doing this and keep it mixed with the new and the old stuff. Also, if you'd like to see Patrick's run with this gun, click on the link in the end card to get some more run and gun action with a different guy. So we hope to see you next time, and we'd like to thank Ventura Munitions, our sponsor. This was a lot of fun, guys. We hope you enjoyed it. This is Alex C. with TFP TV. Hope to see you next time.